what do you make of the Steelers? What is going on? What 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 do you see when you watch this team right now, Rod? Well, when their defense plays really well, they win. And you know, people can always say they always want to give it back and go back to the the run game, and that is a part of it. Uh, and and I, and I love what Mike Tomlin said this past week when uh, when Claypool wanted music. You know, and he was like, you know, the music we're going to be having is pop or pads popping. That's our music. And they really got back to that. They got back to the Steeler way of doing everything. The defense played extremely well. I mean, T.J. Watt, if he doesn't win Defensive Player of the Year this year, you know, shame on all the voters. Um, he's played outstanding football. And then when they have a run game and been on th- when he doesn't turn the ball over, they play decent football. And – you know, it'd be a great indication this week when they play Cleveland. Excuse me, when they got um, Minnesota, uh, the Viking um, tomorrow night mm-hmm. to see if to see if they can beat a, a team they're not used to seeing, and that's what I want to see. If, if they can be consistent, yeah, they 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 put a couple games together uh, earlier in the year, but I, I just need to see if they can be consistent. If they can be consistent, you know, I don't know if they're the best team in the. You know, obviously Baltimore's the best team. Uh, in, in the north, but you know they have an opportunity because I don't think there's a one great team in the AFC this year. Yeah, Marlon Humphrey being knocked out. I mean, how many teams like the Ravens keep on taking the licks and keep on ticking to use the old watch phrase, you know? But um, that one, Marlon Humphrey, that one, I th- genuinely concerns me. Do you think that would even, you know, that they, they they say screw it, we're playing defense the way that we like to play it. Uh, no matter sometimes down distance score, what have you. But do you think that one might actually cause the, the Ravens to reconfigure a couple things? What do you think? I, I, I think it will. Um, you know, you, you got to understand also what, you know, what happened at the beginning of the year before the season even started, uh, a losing, losing a, a Marcus um, and the other starting corner on the other side, Marcus Peterson. And now you lose Humphreys. And I know Wink – Wink likes to show that look and bring pressure. And, I mean, obviously it impacted John Harbaugh's decision to go for two. Yes. Right? So, you know, is it going to be impactful for the rest of this year? I think it will if the coaches let it. You know, obviously, you know, you you do have a 53-man roster. He is your best cornerback that plays for the Baltimore Ravens, but you got to hope that your young guys can play really good football enough for you. And then you got to hope that the offense kind of comes back around because they haven't played great. And, you know, outside of this past week, they were winning football games. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 